Cycling is a great way to explore and learn more about a new area. Which is why Cycling UK, funded by the Heritage Lottery, have teamed up with the Cambrian Village Trust to bring you new trails which connect you with some of the local history. The village of Cladach Vale sits in beautiful surroundings, but underneath the earth is a web of tunnels with a dark story to tell. On the morning of um, May the 17th, 1965, in, in the Pentraseum, in number one shaft, they'd been having electrical problems and uh, two electricians had gone into the district and they'd opened an electrical panel. And unbeknown to them, there was gas right above their heads, uh, an explosive quantity of gas. Uh, and during their work, uh, um, when they tried to reset the power, uh, a short circuit occurred. And the short circuit occurred within the electrical panel, uh, and those panels are designed to contain an explosion. But because the 10 bolts hadn't been fully tightened on the panel, the flame inside the panel escaped into the atmosphere and th then it just, the whole lot went up, you know. I'd been down number four shaft covering the absence of a, of a deputy, a safety official, and uh, I was sent for from the service by the manager who wanted to see me, wanted, he wanted me to do a job for him. And uh, I met him on the end of the bridge and he said to me, uh, look, I need to speak with you later on. Uh, don't go home until I see you. Well, that was 20 or 10 to 11 around that mark. And two and a quarter hours later, he and another 30 were lying dead on the ground here. And they were all, all those boys. There have been mine explosions since 1965, but they were in small mines and the casualties were, this was the last major explosion. The tragedy was, of course, that 60 months later, the colliery closed. And you can, it depends which way you look at that, you know, the, the, the closure of the colliery was a disaster. Um, disaster for the community. Uh, but, you know, I think if they were going to close it, you know, they should have done it 60 months earlier and saved all those lives. Lots of time has passed since these disasters struck, but remembering them can lead to some interesting discoveries. We were doing some research on the local history, you know, looking at old newspapers, and on the old Pennegray rugby club site used to be the Naval Colliery. Now, there were three pits there, and one pit, pit was called the Ely Pit. And on the sort of Saturday, there were a bond of men going on, about 26 men going on in the cages, double-decker cages, and when they were 90 feet, you know, the shaft was about 1,600 feet deep. When they were about 90 feet from the bottom, it jerked. And the spanner bar broke. With the result, the empty cage went right up to the wheels, and the big wheel at the top of the pit, pit head. Smashed into that, smashed the sheaves. The, the, the cage of the men in it went right down to the bottom and through the sump. So they were badly mutilated. They were broken legs, limbs, arms, all sorts of of things, men, you no, know, seven men died. There was one guy trying to help the others as best he could. Um, and I said to my wife, what was your grandfather's name? She said, oh, Philip Stafford Pascal. I said, well, that's him. He said, he was recommended for the King's Medal. I said, didn't he ever mention it? No, she said, she, she didn't, never mentioned it. So you find out when you do some research, you know, your own, your own roots, really. Mining generated money for the communities across the South Wales Valleys. It built the shops, the homes, the institutions. But it also caused conflict and disputes. In 1910, on Dunraven Street here, a riot erupted. The fuse was lit when the owners of the mine accused the workers of working deliberately slowly on a new mine shaft. The miners were locked out and left without work and income. So workers from a neighbouring mine called a strike to stand in solidarity and demand better wages. There was a standoff with the police at the powerhouse and violence erupted. The police chased the miners to here, Dunraven Street, where violence escalated. Windows were smashed and looting occurred. It became known as the Tonopandy Riots. 
and the dispute lasted a whole year. The miners weren't the only ones striking. Not far from here, a very odd occurrence happened at the old sports ground. On one occasion there was a big show going on there, the various events, and cycling was part of it. Uh, and they found out that some of the events were getting paid more than them, the sprinters were getting paid more than them. So uh, they decided they had a little conflab in the middle of the field and they went across to the judges and they said, look, you know, we're not getting enough, these guys are getting more than us. And the judges said, well, you knew what you were, you were going to get before you went in. And they wouldn't give them any more, so they went on strike and they took their bikes and went home, you know. So there was a lot of, a lot of interesting things there. Gladach Vale has a rich heritage and beautiful surroundings, but how is it viewed by the locals? The important thing for me is that we're keeping the younger generation here with hope and with ambition. The other day I was talking to a group of young people um, from a project called the People and Work Unit and some of them had been unemployed and the one particular young man spoke out very clearly and I asked a question, why haven't you left the valley? And he said, well why would, why would we? It's beautiful now. It's beautiful now and there's opportunities for us to... So to me, that speaks volumes. A lot of the narrative growing up is that um, to make anything of yourself, to be professional or successful, you need to leave because there aren't opportunities to you. But I completely disagree. And I think we need to kind of start a new dialogue where young people are encouraged to be proud of where they're from. Our natural environment is beautiful, it's amazing, and people will come here because they value it. And it's about encouraging our young people to see that, and again, to appreciate the culture and the heritage to be proud of where we're from rather than ashamed because I think, you know, we, we've got lots on offer and sometimes maybe we're so used to it we become blinkered and we almost need to be reintroduced again to what we have here. We really have some treasures and um, yeah, I think it's time to start celebrating that and to stop the negativity. It's clear that the area has a rich history and we've not covered it all by any means. Why not hop on a bike and come and explore for yourself?